Hello, I'm Arttu Soilinen, software developer with TerraSolid. And this demo shows how to match fasces in DJI L1 data. I'm first importing the data with the wizard, selecting an LAS file. It is Texas South Central, survey feed is the unit. I also select a trajectory solution and then all the settings are fine, I will import the data. So the software reads in the point cloud and reads in the trajectory solution. And we have a data set of 229 million points. This has been created with DJI Terra software with optimized accuracy setting off. So no flight line matching has been done. And I would expect to see some differences between the point cloud from the different flight passes. I'll first look at the data set uh, in color by color and then color by elevation. And I can see that most of the ground is bare. There's hardly any vegetation, which means that in the matching wizard, I don't have to classify ground per line. First step in the wizard is <coughs> splitting trajectories. And then I can see different flight passes in their own colors. And we can see some mismatches in the cross section views. The match passes step in the wizard. I will set fluctuating correction for elevation on. Rest of the settings were the default values. I can do the fluctuating correction because there is very little vegetation. We get good observations pretty much everywhere in the dataset. And now the matching is running. Uh, that is Terra match code. So a Terra match license is required. And there is three levels of positional matching based on tie line observations, corrections per flight session, corrections per line, and a fluctuating correction which changes all the time. And then we also solve a mirror angle correction. And now my cross sections should look a lot better. Uh, matching is done. And now all that remains to do is to look at the report. What does the report tell me? The average elevation mismatch in the tie line observations was 0 0.047 survey feet. The reduction done by heading roll pitch correction is not very big. Roll was almost perfect and roll is the one which affects elevation strongly. Heading and pitch have more of an XY effect, and I can see some reduction in the XY mismatch. The solution for lines, an elevation shift per line, I can see that the biggest shift was 0 0.024 survey feet, uh, line number 11. So that was quite small. Then my fluctuating correction, that was a bigger effect on this data set. It reduced the average elevation mismatch to 0.032 survey foot. And finally, there's the mirror angle correction, which takes care of the edges of the scan corridor curving down or curving up as a sad face or a smiling face effect. And that was all to do there is to do in the matching. So it is automatic. And now I will explain different steps, different principles. So there is three levels of corrections based on tie line observations. The most systematic is heading roll pitch per session. And then there is an uh, per line correction level. And there the default is that we would do an elevation shift per line. The default for fluctuating is that that would be off. I should only do it if I have mostly non-vegetation terrain. 
and the final step is a mirror angle correction. The tie line observations, you can collect those more interactively by going to define tie lines and it is plain equation type that the software collects. And essentially we are doing surface to surface matching. We collect observations of a local plane equation in one flight path compared to other overlapping flight passes. And all the corrections try to minimize the differences between the local plane equations. There is a setting in match passes classify ground. You would need to set that on if you have a lot of vegetation in the data set. There's three screen capture images here showing a case when classify ground is not needed, a case when it is needed if I solve a fluctuating or mirror angle correction, and a case where I don't need to classify ground per line. The per session correction I would always do. Heading, row, pitch, typically. That's the default. And most data sets will improve with this correction. The cross section view shows a data set where an artificially big roll correction uh, is being applied to make the data set look nice. So that's just to illustrate how roll shows up in a data set. Per line correction. The default is to do elevation per line. Each line gets its own elevation shift. And again, I have a cross section illustrating an artificially big mismatch in flight passes as a DZ effect. The third, which is off by default, the third level is a fluctuating correction, a correction curve which changes all the time. So x-axis is time and y-axis on the screen is the magnitude of the correction up or down. And I would say that most data set where this is solvable, it will make an improvement on the data set. So if I have mostly bare ground, I would run this. The last correction is a mirror angle correction and that is a correction curve which fixes a smiling face or a sad face effect. The cross section shows an, a very high sad face effect. The edges of the scan corridor curve down. And the correction curve, you can see that it's not symmetrical. So the correction can be something which is not so symmetrical. Thank you.